a city of 11 million people with almost no one on the streets. Turkey had announced its first case of coronavirus. These restaurants are normally packed with people, but now Italians are going to have to cook for themselves. It's a disease that witnessed an entire country under lockdown. A disease that saw players competing in empty stadiums. And a disease that is wrecking the global economy. The World Health Organization on March 11th elevated the threat level of coronavirus from a global health crisis to a pandemic. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. With over 118,000 cases in over 114 countries, that has already claimed over 4,200 lives. What does this WHO declaration mean? Pandemic is the highest level of global health emergency and signifies widespread outbreak affecting multiple regions of the world. It has nothing to do with changes to the characteristics of a disease, but is instead associated with concerns over its spread. There are now more fresh cases of novel coronavirus outside China than the one reported in mainland China. But with a global death rate of just 3.4%, which is way lesser than Ebola's 50%, why was Ebola termed an epidemic and coronavirus a pandemic? What is the difference between epidemic and pandemic? According to the Oxford Dictionary, an epidemic is a large number of cases of a particular disease or medical condition happening at the same time in a particular community. Whereas a pandemic is a disease that spreads over a whole country or the whole world. So Ebola, despite its higher death rate, was limited within Africa and was never termed a pandemic. Why the delay in declaration? The March 11 declaration by WHO, according to some experts, is a belated move. But WHO takes extreme care and had strong reasons for not pressing the panic button earlier. And all the cases reported earlier were somehow related to the outbreak in China. It was only after WHO was sure the virus was spreading in new regions through local transmissions without any link to China that a pandemic was declared. Pandemic is not a word to use lightly or carelessly. It's a word that, if misused, can cause unreasonable fear or unjustified acceptance that the fight is over leading to unnecessary suffering and death. The formal declaration of COVID-19 or any other infectious diseases pandemic implies that governments, agencies and aid organizations worldwide should shift efforts from containment to mitigation. A brief history of pandemics. Over the course of history, there have been a number of diseases that have threatened to wipe out the entire world population. One of the deadliest of them was the Black Death, that occurred in the 14th century. Popularly known as the bubonic plague, it wiped out approximately 200 million people worldwide. One pandemic that broke out as many as seven times in history is cholera pandemic. The disease claimed 5 million lives over the course of 200 years of its recurrence. Next was the Spanish flu of 1918. Theorized to have originated in China and spread by Chinese laborers, it killed 50 million people. In recent history, HIV-AIDS virus, detected in the early 80s, created havoc with millions being affected till date. Finally, the H1N1 virus that caused swine flu in 2009 was declared a pandemic. So how is India preparing for the pandemic? With WHO's declaration, the Indian government has swung into action. On March 11th, India suspended all visas barring select categories till April 15th, effectively closing its borders. Indians returning from listed affected countries will be quarantined for minimum 14 days. The centre also advised all states and union territories to invoke provisions of the Epidemic Diseases Act 1897. The colonial era law was used during the British Raj to prevent spread of diseases like cholera. The decision was taken at a meeting of the group of ministers constituted to review, monitor and evaluate the preparedness and measures taken to fight the COVID outbreak. Despite declaring it as a pandemic, WHO remains hopeful that the outbreak can be controlled and the damage can be minimized by taking immediate, aggressive steps.